be a huge day. I mean, there's a lot of people here. If you just look around with the camera right now, see all the people that are here. So, you know, this is just like, you know, competitors, you know, check it in, weigh-ins. Oh, yeah. Some vendors setting up. This is not even the crowd or the, the real amount of competitors that are gonna be here one day. Here, behind the scenes again, weight ends, Tampa Pro, let's go. There's so many people here, it's crazy because this is like a staple event for people that are in the industry. So we call it yes. the industry, everybody has the industry, right? So the fitness industry, the bodybuilding industry, this is definitely a staple uh, show, I guess. Yeah, yeah, this is a small knit community. For real. Everybody knows each other in the fitness industry, the bodybuilding right. community. So a lot of these people right. haven't seen each other for years or yep. months. This is at the time that everyone, you know, collabs and gets sure. together after months and months. There's not a lot of people that do like what we do in bodybuilding. Yes. So yeah. it's good to collab with these people, true. network. And as always, we got the tight booth. Yeah. We got free B12 shots tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. Absolutely. That. You know, it's it's a big, big thing, right? And with health, you know, this is, should be a part of it. And that's what we want to be a part of is making sure these competitors are healthy. Yes. That's why, we, you know, we, we push blood work. We're here in their face. We're not pushing like things that are going to hurt them. We want to make sure that we're there for their health so they can live a long lasting life. Because after the competing years, you're going to have to do something else. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of the, a lot of the people that they see these guys and girls being so shredded and so lean, yeah. they look, they look, yeah. they appear to be very, very healthy, but some aren't healthy on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. So our job at Titan is to get your blood work done, get everything going on the inside. That's right. So not only do you look great, but you, you feel good on the inside That's too. Right. You want to That's keep right. your inside good too. So not That's just right. about the outside appearance. It's key. It's key. You know, you don't want to look like a Ferrari on the outside and a Pinto engine on the inside. I see it all the time. Yeah. Man. I mean, these guys or girls, they look fantastic and the inside, not so much. So don't be one of those people. You can accomplish your health and fitness goals and still be healthy doing it. So that's really where it's at. And this is, this, I mean, this event's gonna be crazy because anyways, anybody that's in the fitness industry is probably here to a certain extent. Um, I see so many of my, my friends, it's, it's been crazy. It's, it's so many veterans here. And uh, we're missing some people here this year too because of you know, the last couple of years of what's been going on. Um, but hey, check it out. We're gonna keep here, keep it live. Me and Big Drew, the whole weekend, Tampa Pro. Let's go. Tampa Pro, tighten up. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, guys? John here, my beautiful wife, Sharice, and this awesome person right here. If you guys don't know, his name is Tim Gardner. Tim Gardner! All right, so Tim puts on all these kinds of beautiful bodybuilding shows and events. He's a hell of a guy, a judge. I mean, this guy does it all. He wears so many hats, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> <laughs> so this weekend, we're here at the Tampa Pro 2022, and it's always a blast to be here and to be a part of it. It's truly an honor to be a part of it. With Tim, he brings so much energy. His organization is top notch, bringing everybody together, structured. I mean, it is top notch all the way through. So, Titan Medical Center is blessed to be here, and we're gonna be giving away a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna be enjoying the show, and you know what? It's just gonna be a hell of a year, I think, again. What do you think, Tim? I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, so it's gonna be great. So, if you guys don't know about Tampa Pro, now you do. Come on down and check it out. If you miss it this year, I'm sorry, but you know what? Next year will be even bigger and better and badder. They can get it on the live stream. Live stream, that's right. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. TimGardnerProductions.com. There you go. Oh. So you guys can check it out on live stream. Check it out. You might even see Titan in there once or twice. So, <laughs> so guys, check it out. We'll have all kinds of behind the scenes and all kinds of footage from Titan Medical Center Booth and Tampa Pro. What's up, guys? We're here, Titan Medical Center, Team Titan, representing all the way. The Titan X, the Titans, we are here, and we're here to help you guys feel better, look better, perform better. Free B12 shots and amino shots. Come check us out. Free Titan gear for everybody. T-shirts, tank tops, and a lot more. Come take a picture and be part of the Titan family today. Let's go. How are you guys doing out there today? 
All right, so Titan Medical Center, if you guys don't know what Titan Medical Center can do for you, we guys can make you feel better, look better, and perform better. From hormone replacement therapy to medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, peptide therapies for sexual peptides, weight loss peptides, and healing peptides. Nationwide blood work along with nationwide service. So wherever you guys are at, if you guys need help, feeling better, looking better, performing your very best daily, and you need to contact Titan Medical Center today. You guys can actually go out to the booth outside of here and get a free B12 shot or a free amino shot just to see how it is and how it will help you, okay? If you have any more questions, please contact us. Hey everybody, Sharice. I want to take a minute, and I know that we can't say it enough, but we've been here year after year after year. I've seen it grow, and I want to give a huge warm hug, kisses, thank you. Tim and Eileen, we love you guys. We will always support you guys. All the production crew, Rachel, I just, I, I'm gonna name all you guys if I could, but I can't. So you guys are doing an amazing job. It's absolutely a beautiful setup, and all of the competitors, you guys look amazing. Thank you again, all the judges, all the competitors, and all you guys that come out to make the show so great. And we got a, a new MC over here, Dennis James. You guys got the man, the myth, the legend talking play by play what's going on <laughs> so we love you guys we appreciate you guys and all the support thank you guys for making us the very best every year what's up guys john here and i'm with my beautiful wife sharice and we are here at the grand hyatt here in tampa florida that's right beautiful sunny florida so we're here for the Tampa Pro. This is an amazing event that Tim Gardner puts on. Big shout out Tim Gardner and Tim Gardner Productions, Eileen, everybody else that helps put this on. But it's a huge event. And if you don't know what the Tampa Pro is, that's okay. It's a health, wellness, and fitness event. That's what I like to call it because yeah. it encompasses everything, okay? And if that's not your thing, that's cool. But there's a lot of great healthy athletes here and competitive athletes that are trying to show their best on stage, you know, to win, maybe get, you know, their Olympia qualification and all that good stuff. But there's tons of great people that come through here and it's awesome getting to share what Titan Medical Center is all about and how we can really help them feel better, look better and perform better on a daily basis and improve their quality of life overall. So guys, if you guys are in Tampa, come check us out at the Grand Hyatt, Tampa, Florida the Tampa Pro, you'll see the huge Titan booth when you go inside, no purchases necessary. You also can get a free B12 shot or amino shot, free t-shirts, tank tops, and all kinds of cool Titan giveaways. So guys, don't delay, check us out today. And if you guys can't come down here, don't worry. Car Texas 727-389-3220. Check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com. And make sure you get to see this video and all the other cool content over on YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center, you'll get to see all that cool stuff. Sleep, it's a big, big thing out there. And a lot of people are having problems with their sleep. And having problems with your sleep can cause negative effects to your health and your energy levels and your mental capacity and your immune function. These are all things that you will benefit from getting a good night's rest. But you're telling yourself, I can't get a good night's rest. Either I go to sleep and can't stay asleep or I just can't go to sleep at all. And I stay up all night tossing and turning. What do I do, John? So that's why I want to talk about one of our therapies that we offer, DSIP, Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. This is a neuromodulator to help you get your sleep patterns back on track. It's been studied in a long array of different things, from opiate use and withdrawal using DSIP, alcohol, and getting people the REM sleep that they really need. And REM sleep is that deep trance five sleep that's gonna help you repair yourself, revitalize your body, waking up and feeling refreshed. When was the last time that you woke up refreshed from your night's rest? A lot of people, they can't even tell me when that was. But we wanna help everybody out there get that vital rest that they need. So if you guys are looking for a therapy, that can help you guys out and hopefully benefit your sleep patterns, then talk to us about DSIP, Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. 
For more information, contact us today, call or text 727-389-3220. Check out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com and get your sleep patterns back on track. All right guys, so why do you wanna be healthy? Is it your family? Is it yourself? Are you tired of looking in the mirror and being out of shape? Not feeling your best or looking your best? We're in performing your best every day? That's what the Titan lifestyle is all about. Being tight and strong, being healthy, being active, and enjoying everything that life has to offer. It's called quality of life. That means every day you wake up and you're taking full advantage of what God has given us on this green earth. That means your family, your loved ones, and your surroundings, going outside, being active, not sitting inside, watching TV, or asking yourself, why can't I be like that? What's it gonna take, right? A lot of people don't know what it is and don't know where to start. That's what Type Medical Center is here for. We're gonna get you guys back on track, getting you guys feeling healthier inside so that your outside reflects that too as well. And so that you, can be around more for your loved ones and you can be around for a lot longer time to enjoy what life has to give you and everything it has to offer so stop asking yourself why and contact us today 727-389-3220 tell them john sent you and titan medical center will help you live the titan lifestyle every day thanks guys
body ready? Titan Medical Center can help you shed those extra pounds and tighten up. Here are some of our Titan therapies that can help you with weight loss. Injectable semi-glutide, Aries therapy, injectable peptide AOD 9604, ECA Stack Plus, Fat Burner Cream, Titan Complete, Titan Up, and more. You can call or text us at Titan Medical Center at 727-389-3220 to find out which weight loss therapies and options would be best for you. You can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Let our staff and medical providers guide you to get back on track to your weight loss goals. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, so Cupid's Corner, if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, covers things that are gonna help you guys excel, get tips, tricks, and hopefully some info that's gonna help you in your relationship currently, or if you're not in a relationship, your future relationship, or future partnership, or whatever you wanna call it nowadays. <laughs> so at that point, we're going to give you some advice that maybe me and Sharice have went through, we've observed, or we've got from other people that have been successful in these different areas. Um, we know that everybody is in a relationship of some type out there, right? Even if they're in a relationship with themselves. So, you know, you just, you learn from a lot of mistakes that you make along the way, but if you can get a cheat sheet to really help you out, maybe uh, give you some of those answers before you make those problematic decisions that maybe to help you guys and make you a happier, um, fulfilled person, right? Happier, healthier person. Happier, healthier yeah. person. Yes, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, That's yeah. good. That's right out of his mouth. He I just like doesn't that. realize it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this week we're going to cover something you guys should probably look for in the relationship before it gets too serious, right? Because, you know, relationships start out hot and heavy for a lot of different reasons. This could be on looks, this could be on intelligence, right time, right place, who knows, right? A lot of different relationships, especially nowadays, um, the way they start can start in a number of different ways out there. Mm -hmm. um, and infatuation can set in in the beginning and at that point you kind of look past everything else and then after that infatuation kind of goes down and you really start conversating and talking and uh, you know spending a lot more time together, you're gonna come across some different things. Um, and then at that point, you want to think about taking this relationship further. So when you're thinking about taking this relationship further, there's probably some different questions that you're probably going to want to ask your partner and get the answers from because it might be a deal breaker on your side or a deal breaker on their side. And you just don't know which side you really, you really don't talk know. about. It, right? And um, I guess the, the question before you bring it up is going to be, how do you pull it out of them? So I think it's just a general, general conversation is when you pull it out of them. It's nothing like you go to them like, Hey, listen, like, for example, what we're going to talk about today was having the same morals, ethics, and values. So, you know, this is, this is a pretty serious topic. With right. You just like, you're just having dinner with somebody and eating, you know, a little steak, having a mimosa or something and be like, Hey, so just real quick while, while, we, while we have this wonderful dinner, can you please tell me what your, what your morals and values are? Cause we want to make sure that they're aligned. So, you know, God forbid we don't agree 10 years from now that, that I don't know if there's some things you just, there's some things that people are just set in stone about yeah. and you're not going to change their mind. Okay. And then I guess, you know, over time things change, you might be able to mold them into at least meeting so you at a halfway you know. point. Right. But there's still some things that are just set in stone that are just not going to change. Right. This is true. 
This I is mean, very true. We won't get into politics or anything, but no, it's a whole different animal, uh, especially <laughs> nowadays. Right. You know, people are fighting, hurting each other over this. Um, but no, but I, I, I do agree. And you know, what is the right time or what is the right way? I don't think there's really a right answer for that. But I do think that you know, when you're starting the relationship, when you're starting to spend time with people, you kind of see a little bit but you don't see everything because it, it might be that front still. Mm -hmm. But when that front comes down, you kind of see who that person is or how they handle situations. And that kind of sets a tone of, you know, what they do, like morals, ethics, and values, or what they might say to people. You know, honestly, now I'm kind of thinking about it. So, you know, I really feel like whenever you are having these conversations with your significant other, new significant other, even your current significant other, old significant other, whatever you want to call it, um, there is most certainly a way to present things to where they talk to you, you know, yeah. so it's not such a shallow conversation or an interrogation, some, right? Or an interrogation, you know, yeah. but kind of just open up the doors and maybe even ask questions. You don't have to ask questions in an interrogative style. I'm very interrogative. However, not everybody can handle that type of behavior. You know, John, John handles me well. This, this works out great. Thank God. <laughs> Somebody could handle me. Yay! God has sent me a blessing, a man that can handle me. It's great. Thank goodness for giving me patience. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, but, you know, I think there's definitely a setting where you, you're able to open up dialogue, right? Open yeah. up dialogue and be able to talk to each other yeah. and, you know, be like, what's your thought on this? It's always the open-ended questions, you know? Um, and if you're talking, if you continue talking and you just keep talking, usually you're not going to be able to hear anything your significant other is saying. So mm -hmm. you can talk X amount, but then allow your significant other to speak as well, or you'll never get to hear their end or yeah. really be able to process it. And don't bite their head off when they say it. If they say something you don't like, I mean, it is what it is. They probably won't share anything else with you at that mm -hmm. point. But, you know, there's there's some other topics, too. So, I mean, or morals, ethics, and values, you know, what do you guys think about it? What do you guys think your kids should be doing growing up? How they should they be acting? You know, such like that. I mean, we could, I, I'll, I'll use an example. You know, I like using real-life examples. Sure. So, um, John, right, he went to military school. And, no, he did not go to military school because he was bad, if you can believe that or not. Um, he chose to go to military school on his own. I've never heard of this, I swear. I even confirmed with his parents. I'm like, this is crazy. Nobody actually goes to military school because they want to, right? It's usually because you're a bad child and you get tossed into military school because you're bad. I like structure. Okay. So, John went to a very structured school, private school type setting, right? I, however, I grew up in a public school, right? And I went to public school my whole life. I don't know what it's like to be on that side. John did go to public school for one year. Yeah. And he, so he kind of knows what it's like on this side. But we now have our child. And now we have to say, okay, do we want our kid to go to public school? Or do we want our kid to go to private school? John obviously wants Peter, our son, wants him to go to private school. I, on the other hand, wanted, <laughs> we're going to use past tense, wanted him <laughs> to go to public school. And it's only because I wanted him to get very well versed and understand the real world not saying that in private school you're not going to get that but you know in my opinion i feel like you know there might be things you can experience in public school that you might not get to experience in a private setting which could be good and could be bad more bad than good nowadays, um, for, sure. <laughs> nowadays for sure but this is just a really good it's a great example because this could be a very serious problem that you guys might be, not saying it's a deal breaker, you guys are gonna have a divorce over it. Yeah. I mean, but it, it could be a pretty big problem if you guys are not going to agree on yeah. this because one person might be, he might be really stuck and be like, no, listen to me. The kid is going to private school. I went to private school, I went to military school. He might even be like, hey, I'm shipping the kid off to military school. I'm be like, no, the kid isn't going to military school. I want the child here. So there's an abundance of examples, but that one actually is probably the most recent example that comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it is. I mean, you want your, your kids to have manners, per se. You know, you teach them to have manners. There's people out there that don't teach their kids to have manners. Um, or they don't have manners themselves. And at that point, it reflects, you know, who they are to a certain extent. Um, these things are, you know, they're, they're, they can, like I said, they can be deal breakers. You know, as long as nobody's hurting anybody, it really doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. It's totally up to them on how they want to live their life. And if you agree with it and you want to be a part of that, that's totally on you, right? Um, but you know, the other thing is, is that, you know, I mean, things like, let's say 
you got in a relationship with somebody and you really want to have kids and the other person really doesn't want to have kids, this could be a serious deal breaker, yeah. right? And these are things that need to be talked about, not in the first date, not in the first week <laughs> of the date, but when you guys start getting a little bit more serious, let's say, and you guys are really talking about going more of a distance, at that point, we're going to say, hey, listen, well, this might not be what I want, right? right. And, and you can't think that you're just going to change that person's mind or change the way they think or change the way they were raised. Um, in some instances, if the person wants to change, they could. Yeah. But in most instances, they're probably not going to. So um, at that point, you know, this is just something to think about. It's important. Right? Right? It is important. If you're already in a relationship, you've been in a relationship. Then you should probably get the information out now. Or you, you probably go, already know. Go down, go down the list, right? Go through, you know, the, the children and, and then religion and then the uh, next thing and the next thing. You know, one. you could leave politics for last because, listen, I don't do politics. Yeah. I don't really, it's irrelevant to yeah. me. But, you know, just maybe go down the line a little bit and make sure that you guys all align. And just remember, guys, one thing I can say is that, you know, over time, things change. So you can agree on something in the beginning. It's going to be this perfect world, white picket fence. And then all of a sudden it changes into something totally different. You might have different factors that flow into your life that you did not expect, um, good or bad, you know, um, and just, you know, just kind of go with the flow. But I do think that the ground morals should definitely be established. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is another awesome show of Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We're here every Sunday on ABC for you guys, 11 a.m. And don't worry, if you didn't DVR it, which you can, don't worry about it. Go to YouTube. You guys can check it out at Tight Medical Center. Just type that in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the all notification bell. Make sure you guys are checking our social media too as well. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And any other good ones that are going to be coming about here very shortly. So we appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. We'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.